I added satin ribbon around the mixed media circle, fabric circle, so it seemed to bring the colors more together and make it a more cohesive look. So now on to the next step of tulle and organza stitched over it. Okay, this is what it looks like after it has been reduced with a heat gun. It took about six to eight passes of a heat gun set on low setting, maybe six passes and two with high setting. I wanted to reduce the tool and the organza enough so that the circles would show through. So this is what it's looking like. You see the stitching, zigzag stitching, and it's on its way to becoming a book cover. Okay, this is basically the finished um, book cover. The day is rainy and overcast, so I don't know if you really get the, co the colors, the true colors, but this is basically it. I didn't press the inside. Um, I basically just, you know, this is a project in the making. So nothing is really, really finished. Uh, just keep in mind if you do this type of process that as you reduce the tool and the organza, the whole piece will shrink to a degree. So um, you can't cut your pattern out exactly to size because once you shrink it, it will be too small. And that's base I forgot, and that's basically what I had to do. I had to piece a piece here. But um, I think I'm going to tack this just with some gold thread. Actually, I like the other side better, which is the bottom of the Bible. I don't know. Um, I can easily flip it, just take it off and flip it <clears throat> so that this becomes the front. But um, yeah, this is the finished product, and I look forward to adding a lot to my loose leaf Bible as far as pictures and um, sentiments and um, that's it. So this is another Smorgasbord fabric video and how I turned that fabric into a Bible cover, another Bible cover. All right, have a very blessed day. That's it for now, bye.